KHQA this morning. It's your news now. Welcome back. It's 514 and you know our own Chris Nagiri is out and about once again this morning. Yeah, Kristen, what are you up to? I see wrapping paper in the background. Yes, good morning. We are talking Christmas presents and few are like me. Wrapping presents is fun, but I don't really know how to do it. So coming up later in the show, I'm going to learn from some wrapping experts on how to correctly wrap even the weirdest shaped presents. And we might even throw down in a little bit of a race. I hope I win. Those presents look really nice with the ribbon and stuff. I know. I'm, I'm going to learn the basics first, like okay. how to correctly cut. And then hopefully I'll be able to make my presents look as pretty as these ones. All right. Sounds All right. good. We'll see you in a bit. Thanks, Kristen. <laughs> Chris Nagiri out and about still. Kristen, what's going on? <laughs> it looks like you're, I, um, you don't have any bows on you anymore. No, they made me take them off. Uh. I royally messed that one up. <laughs> but I'm going to learn how to correctly wrap um, a really good present today. With me now is Sharon Otto, and she wraps presents here at the Quincy Mall. How long have you guys been doing this? Well, probably about eight years. Eight years? Eight so years. You guys are wrapping presents experts. Yeah, pretty much so, yes. We've wrapped a lot of different things through the years. What is the weirdest thing you've ever wrapped? I would say it was uh, oh, what chairs. Was chairs. Yes, we did some chairs and uh, like we wrapped a 42-inch television. Oh, and wow. Many different little things and, uh, that we've done, tennis brackets. But <laughs> they had, we have to find a box or some way to wrap them up. So. We've done a lot of different things. Well, we have some very odd gifts that KHQA team actually put together yesterday. So we're coming up later in the show, we are going to wrap some really weird gifts. Um, but you guys all do this as much as you love wrapping presents. Yeah. <laughs> you guys all do this for a cause. Yes, we do. Uh, all of our money is donated out to like Camp Callahan and uh, Heart Fund, Cancer Fund, and a lot of the local stations here. And we also give out um, at scholarships. We usually, if we make enough money, can hand out uh, three, three scholarships to. And there is no charge for people to come here and get their gift wraps? No. It's all donations, whatever they want to give, a uh, little, or if they want to give a lot. We can take whatever they can give us and it just seems to really work out really well for us as a project for our organization. So. How fast can you ladies wrap out, wrap out a present? Well, it depends. If we have a lot of them, why well, we can wrap pretty fast. We have to. It depends what size the package is. Some of the normal ones, it doesn't take us very long, but uh, some of them will take us a little while, too. Well, after they teach me some of the basic tips, I'm going to challenge them to a wrap-off and see who can wrap faster. So I hope it's me. Let's count. Does neatness count? I'm sorry? Does neatness count in this, or is it just who can ever wrap the fastest? I'm, I can't hear you guys. Oh, oh. darn it. Neatness. Can oh, you? I don't think neatness, does neatness count in our race? Will it count in our race? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> no one says, no one says yeah. <laughs> Shoot. Re it does count. Oh, okay. I better start practicing now. All right. Well, you get on that, and we will send it Let's over. check in with Shoot. Kristen and Geary, who is out wrapping presents this morning, teaching us all a little bit how to make the under part of our tree a little bit prettier. Exactly. And I even made my outfit a little prettier. I found a pink bow to match, and the lady said I could wear it. Perfect. <laughs> so now before we get to wrapping any weird presents, we're going to learn the basics. So with me now is Kathleen Fisher, who is a wrapping expert. How do we get the basics? Because you even said, I thought we could lay it out like this, and you already said my first step is wrong. It's better to, we don't have to measure, but you can check by your eye to see this will come over and wrap. Where you got yours the long way, the paper you have, it may meet. But otherwise, you're going to have to go this way and waste all that extra paper. Okay, so we're all about saving. Way. Right. Okay, oh, yeah. so it would be this way? Yes. And then a little bit? Then you'll have plenty of paper. Oh, to move around and stuff right. like that. Okay, perfect. So what, what do we do first? Scissors. You lay it out. Scissors carefully. <laughs> Keep away from your hair. You know. Okay. We measure it out so you have enough, at least half the way up the side, on both sides. You want to be able, when this folds over, to have enough to cover this end of the box. So you have to do it on the other side also. And we just do it by eye. We don't measure. And then you cut it across. It's better if you can try to cut straight because it works better the next time you want to use this roll of paper. 
So you use this whole sheet? I use all that. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try cutting now. Okay. So is this is this oh, is this okay right here? Well, you, you can see. You said that, half, right? Yeah, thereabouts. You're good. And so you just eye that much over and cut across. All right, here we go. Is it? Does it have to cut a certain way? Because I know a lot of people like to cut like that. Oops. Maybe that's why they shouldn't do that. Okay. So like some paper. If you get to have your thicker paper, you could just zip it like. Right, off. right. Yeah, that's what I meant. Ooh, yeah. that's fancy. Then maybe I'll, I'll just keep it basic. Yeah. Cause I'm a little, I'm a little jagged. Whoops. All right, there you go. All right. Then you, you get your pit box straight in the, on your paper in the middle, and then just bring it up, nice and tight. Bring the other piece over. Oh, I have a lot. So should I cut it? Yeah, you will. Bring it okay. Over. Bring it. Bring this over. Okay. Here again, you see that you, all this is extra. Uh huh. So as long as it meets over, I would cut right across the top of these. Santa Clauses. Use okay. scissors, just cut straight across there. Okay, so Make after sure. I'm done cutting. Okay. Then go ahead. Okay. I'll see you a, I'll see you wrap it up. To make it a finished look, my mother taught me to turn it under to make it look Ooh, as, that is a good tip. As opposed to having a ragged edge or whatever. Right, right, right makes it look more finished. All right, well, we are going to continue to wrap here and to see the full list of tips from this segment, make sure you check out our YouTube page. And I'm going to go ahead and finish practicing wrapping because I definitely need some help. If your present doesn't look good, your bow on your shirt certainly does. <laughs> it does. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, Kristen Aguirre doing something kind of fun today. What's going on, Kristen? I am here at the Quincy Mall learning how to wrap presents. I tweeted out my present I showed you guys last time. Turned out pretty good. Now we're learning how to wrap the most oddest shaped present. With me now is Kathleen Fisher from the ladies from the Order of the Eastern Star who wrap presents here at the Quincy Mall. This is probably the weirdest shaped. How are we tackling this one, Kath Kathleen? I'm going to wrap it up and around and just make it just like it is. The paper's long enough on both ends. When you see um, an odd shaped item, how, how should you look at it? Just to see how I can get paper around it and cover the whole thing. Because this will, at first we thought we'd get a box, but I think this will work because I can bring it down and make it just a triangle and then just be careful. So if you can fit it in a box, that's your first tip. Right. If, you if can... I can find a box, that takes care of it all. Okay, so I'll let you finish this this one, and I'm going to move on to another odd shape piece. So you actually got lucky because we got we were able to fit this ukulele into a box. I was really concerned on how you're going to do this, so you you got one of the lucky ones. So you're going to wrap yours into a box, and now over here we have a, a common another common present, and you are putting yours. You found a box to fit yours too. Uh huh. I have oh. Like a tubing box. Lucky. Yeah, yeah, very lucky. All right, so we're going to see how fast these ladies can, can wrap their presents. I'm going to come over here back to the, to the most odd-shaped one. So now you just kind of wrapped it over. Mm -hmm. So I could measure to see how much paper I was going to need. All right, well, I'm going to tweet out these pictures when they're done and put them on Facebook so you guys can see how great they turned out. And coming up later in the show, I'm going to challenge these experts to a race and see who can wrap the fastest. My question is how they're going to do the how she's going to do the ends of that sign. How she's going to fold them in there. I'm very. I intrigued. am very curious too. She is hard at work, and I definitely will tweet this picture out. Okay. They're pros. They know what's up. Yeah, that's always the hardest part for me. <laughs> <laughs> Check in with our own Chris Nagiri. And Kristen, yep. I got a question for you. When you guys do the contest, are you going to hold up the honor of KHQA? <laughs> I'm going to win this race. <laughs> but before we get started, these are the final wrap presents. This is the sign. Doesn't look awesome. Look how cool it did. She wrapped it perfectly. And here's our baseball bat in this one. And here's our ukulele in this one. These ladies are amazing. They're so awesome. But I am going to challenge them. We are all set and ready for our race. We're going to put 30 seconds on our stopwatch and see who can wrap the fastest and the neatest. So I'm going to hit our stopwatch and cameraman Mark is going to let us know when it's time to stop. Okay, ready guys? No cheating, no cheating. <laughs> ready? Set, go. Oh man. Okay, I'm trying to use everything that they taught me. A lot of folding to cover your mistakes. 
Oh my god, they're fast. Ka um, Kathleen said that if they lose, they can still come back. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe I'll get a job after this. Stop. Oh, who's, who has the most? Who has the most done? Not me. I think she has the most done. Sh Sharon has the most done. Oh man, mine. I just barely close. got, got two. Pretty close. Pretty close. You're, yeah, you're, you're almost done. These I'm ladies so are fast. <laughs> We're gonna finish wrapping our presents. I obviously lost the race again. And coming up later in the show, we're gonna give you some last minute tips on how to make your gifts look professionally wrapped and uh, ready for Christmas. I'm so shocked that, she, that the girl next to Kristen got that far along. Oh yeah, she knocked that out in no time. Oh my gosh, I thought that was still just a box. That was the These wrap. These ladies are quick. Bo they oh do my. not mess around. Wow. Well, considering the way I wrap, yeah. I still let Kristen wrap my gifts. Yeah. So. It takes me about an hour to wrap one little box. I'm going to have to take all of these tips um, and give them, uh, well, take them and give them to myself, you I Give them somebody else to take care of for you. Yeah, Kristen's <laughs> learning all about some stuff. How's it going, Kristen? It's going good. So now we're covering up some last-minute tips. Um, so what are some things that people need to know when they go to gift wrap? When you get to gift wrap, make sure you package it upside down, of course. You want to make sure your sides are just about halfway or three quarters of the way up. And then when you get ready to wrap, make sure you cover, fold your edges so that it makes a nice, nice dressing when you, when you tape it. That's a good way to cover your mistakes. Right, yes it is. So let me go ahead and wrap that there, a little bit of tape. Mm -hmm. And then this is probably one of my hardest part is folding these edges. So you just, laying mm -hmm. it down is the easiest way to do it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Lay it flat and then you kind of fold over your It's edges. all about creasing. Right. Yes. Another paper on that side. little mistake hider. Mm -hmm. Perfect. How long have you guys been wrapping presents here? We've been here about eight years. Eight years, and our eighth year. you guys don't uh, charge any funds for for getting your people to get their gifts wrapped here. No. And you guys do it all for a really good cause. Yes, we uh, give out to uh, like the heart fund and uh, um, cancer fund. We've done the diabetes, and uh, then we do local like Camp Callahan and. Uh, Red Cross, we've donated out to about every organization that you can think of. And you guys are all from the Order of the Eastern Star Organization. Right. We're Alpha Chapter Order of the Eastern Star. Look at and how beautiful this looks. You guys have skills. And then we just kind of put some bows on it. And add your personal little touch. Right. So people mm -hmm. can come here, um, you guys can add tags and, and yes, everything like that to personalize tags. it. Yes, they can have tags, they can do their own tags. Or they can bring their gifts in if they've got a lot of them and we give them a ticket and they want to do more shopping. Why we uh, we be wrapping them while they're out shopping? They come back and pick it up, but they got a tag with their names on it. Well, to see any of these tips I learned here this morning, and make sure you check out our YouTube page. And don't forget, if you don't know how to wrap, all you have to do is drop it off here at the Quincy Mall. <laughs> All right. I'll have to watch that video a few times. Yeah, a few times. If you need help wrapping your presents this Christmas season, make sure you check out the order room of the Eastern Star Ladies here right in front of Bergner's at the Quincy Mall. They'll be here from 10 to 9 and only till 4 on uh, Christmas Eve. And check out our YouTube page for more wrapping tips. That's a wrap.